Are you getting ready to screen share a video in Zoom and you're wanting to make sure that you have checked all the boxes and you're set up for success? Well, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to screen share a video and I'm actually, this is a two-parter. So this week is part one. Next week, uh, you'll be able to watch part two where I show you two different ways to screen share in Zoom. I'm gonna show you the more updated way right now and then I'll show you an alternative version. And then I think I might have to do a part three because I've got a lot of tips about making sure that you're set up for success with showing a video in Zoom. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events Podcast, a podcast that drops weekly episodes every single Wednesday. I co-host it with fellow event pro Mary Davidson, and we dive more into some of these topics that I talk about here about event management, event production, how to get started as an event planner. We're on all the major podcast platforms, so listen to it wherever you listen to podcasts. All right, so you're in Zoom, and you want to make sure that you are able to share a video. Now, my caveat before I show you this is often I'll talk to clients that if the video is the most important part of your event... Zoom is not built for video playback. It is built for live video sharing of like my face here, when you're on Zoom, any kind of like meeting format, that's much more up Zoom's alley. But you can show videos in Zoom and there are some simple things that you need to double check that you've enabled or checked before you hit share to make sure that the video doesn't start stop and people can see it and they can hear it no problem. I'm also gonna be showing you how to do this in Zoom meeting. It's a very similar flow in Zoom webinar. You'll just notice some of the controls look a little different, but the key reminders are the same. All right, so here we are in Zoom. This is my favorite zoom session. You get to see Logan twice, and it's gonna be a little confusing because I'm gonna be screen sharing a video of myself. So just bear with me. Um, I am here in my Zoom program. As you can see, I have my version, my little, my video box is covering my mute and my um, stop and start video controls, but what you really wanna know here for screen sharing is this green share screen button. All right, so you're gonna click that and then up pops, usually it'll go to your basic where it's gonna tell you which desktop to share, um, if you wanna share the actual video file you wanna share, but what I'm gonna advise you to do in this flow would be to use the advanced settings. So this is where you're gonna click video and the beauty is the minute you click video, it's gonna already enable share sound and optimize for video clip. Now blue in, G in Zoom means checked, enabled, and yes, if your video has audio, yes, it's a video clip. So you're going to advanced, click video, and then you're going to hit share. Now the nuance here is it's going to open up your program on your computer. It's gonna open the program on your computer and so you're gonna then need to search for the file that you wanna share. So I'm sharing a YouTube video that I made. You're gonna click share. And then what it's gonna do is say that I'm sharing my screen. So now you're gonna see your video file just here, a feature I love in Zoom that, that now you have to make sure you've updated your Zoom recently, but it does show you this little preview box of exactly what the attendees are seeing. So they will be seeing my video, some black bars on the side if they have a larger screen, but they will see my video. And then I just have to hit play. Having volunteers at your next event and you wanna make sure that you're taking care of them. I have a couple suggestions of best practices that I've both experienced as a volunteer and utilized as an event manager at my recent events. And then just to end the video, if I'm done sharing, I'm just gonna click stop share. And that's how you'd end sharing that video. This feature, you do need to have an updated Zoom and I'll pull up mine right now for reference so you can just see I'm currently using Zoom version 5.15.3. I have it set to auto update my Zoom. I will link to that video that I have about Zoom updates. But hopefully that helped answer your questions about how to screen share a video in Zoom. Again, if you aren't seeing that option in the advance to share a video, you do need to update your Zoom. Stick around, I'll have a part two coming out next week that shows you the more traditional way to share a video if you need to do it that way. And then I will have some best practices and things that I triple check as an event producer in Zoom. But that brings me to the end of my video. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer in Seattle, Washington, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.